Oh man, this is lovely, lovely, lovely. And third stage. Oh shit! Holy balls! Oh my god, she gave me a heart attack! Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Um, today we have quite a schedule on us, We I went already out this morning, you can see it's already 12.25. We went out this morning um, and the early afternoon to get a lot of resources, I got loads of clay, I got some wood, I got some uh, iron of the, of the stone, so we were very busy. I um, also want to plan on doing a little road trip around the area to get all the cars, uh, which we hopefully can get batteries from. And then I want to make a second bike and bring it over to the main base and uh, drop it off there and build it there and leave it there. Now, at the same time, I also want to go down to the Shotgun Messiah and to the Pop and Pills. We loot that, we completely loot it empty, and uh, both of them, and then take with us as much as possible because we need to upgrade our guns. I also just made a lot of uh, glue and duct tape, well, duct tape from the glue, from the bones I had from the hunting this morning, and I made a forge and um, to basically burn all the brass. Now with the brass, one of the things you guys said is basically that uh, a brass car radiator, I'm better off not scrapping it. So again, I showed that before, but I'm gonna do it again. So if I scrap a single one, I scrap this, I get, there you go, I get seven of those brass, okay? So when this is finished, there, seven. If I put that into the for forge, now I have 180 in there, so uh, look, I can make in the moment 36 brass from what I have in here, yeah? If I put this in here and turn it on, it's, this will give me 50, so that should go up to 230. There you go. And now I can make 10 more, so I get 10 out of them. So I get three more brass, which is actually quite important if you think about it, because um, when we make bullet casing, which we can't make in the moment. So if I make bullet casing, bullet casing, it takes one brass. That's an extra three bullet casing that you're gonna get, which is very good. So overall, when you when I found five of them earlier, so that would be 15 bullet casing, extra 15 bullet casing, which is quite a lot, which is a full uh, round of ammunition, you know, in, in the smaller guns, which is great. So um, I'm gonna, with the other ones, uh, the doorknobs and all that, I don't know, I haven't really tested it yet. So, but the what I decided is to make a forge wherever I have a big loot gonna happen. Like this here, I'm gonna get loads of brass, like from here, obviously. And the minimum I do is not turn it all into bullet casing, but at least turn it all into brass. Okay, so that way, there you go. I can carry with me all the brass. And I might actually turn it into bullet casing all uh, before we leave because I think if it uses one, I think the bullet casing stacks higher. I'm not sure, maybe not. I could be mistaken. Anyway, so there you go. That's 46 brass, which I probably uh, got a lot of wind from because I took the doorknobs and everything and just burned them directly. So this is what I'm going to use the furnace for. Now let's actually test that quite. Uh, let's let's test that also with. Um, these guys with the um, tokens. You need five tokens. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So if we put five tokens to scrap them, so let's see what happens when we scrap them, because you need five. If you have only four, you can't scrap them, okay? So if we take five and we scrap them, we get one brass. If we put five of them in the furnace, if we only get five brass, then it's the same. Then there's no difference. So let's see actually how much brass we're gonna get for burning that. Ah oh man. So it takes a while because we just only clicked with um, the other one. So it's probably burning. Will it burn all five or will it burn one at a time? I just wanna see how much it gives us. Or actually, it might not even actually burn it. So we might be sitting here just looking and nothing happening. No, nothing's happening. So I waited quite a while. Nothing's happening at all. So uh, it seems that stuck, stuck items just don't burn. So if you want to get brass out of it, you're better off scrapping it. Um, I'm not going to keep them because uh, I don't think the, the, the fun pimps are going to add NPCs or anything um, yet to the main game. And because this is not modded, I'm not going to put my hopes up that there will be like a vendor or something added through mods. So I will be scrapping all of them. And of course, um, I don't know if you get waste. Let me actually test that. So if I have six, will it only scrap five? Yes. In this case, I don't have to worry about counting, then I just scrap all of them, and I get my 19 scrap iron from it. Very good. Excellent. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make uh, the repair kits now, which is only 14, because I have only 14 forged iron here. So, let's do that. Let's make 10. 
because I want to keep some forged iron. And then we're going to put the rest of the forged iron down here. Anyway, so let's get going. Let's get looting, and then we're going to uh, start. I'm going to empty all this. We're going to go out chasing batteries, and then we're going to loot the place, and then we're going to go back to the base because I also want to start the farm on top of the base, which is another thing I want to at least start today. So I'm going to try to keep the video short in the sense uh, that I will not show you the traveling to and fro from the cars because we just want to get uh, the show on the road and start collecting everything that's in these cars. I don't know if we get... Oh, there's a battery. Look at that. The first car. Bloody brilliant. I hope it's a good quality battery and not completely crap. Oh, look at that. An engine and a battery. Holy balls. Did you see that? Awesome. Now we're going to do a little bit of a round. So let's go and find another car. There's another one coming up here. Very nice. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's another two actually, which is lovely. So let's loot them first. That was really lucky. But I haven't gotten it. Oh, look at that. There was actually some glass in it, which makes sense. Brilliant. Oh, we got a headlight. Oh, this is lovely. And we get the leather from the first stage. In the second stage, we're going to get more springs and more. Oh, there's another brass grill, which is very lovely. Very nice. And then the last stage, we're just going to get loads of oil, which is excellent. I'm actually just crafting some forged iron in the in the base, in the... in the. Oh, look, another battery. Whoa, ho, 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 and another engine. Oh, wow. Whoa, what the hell? Did they increase that uh, drop rate all of a sudden? Holy balls, I'm feeling really guilty now actually continuing with that. Whew. Well, we, we take that. So for the workbench, I'm actually just burning some iron because I want to uh, queue up things that take very long, like making all the gas canisters and all that, you know, the, the big ones, the barrels. It takes a long time. Did we get anything else? No. But we've got two brass radiators, which is really good as well. Very nice. I love this. This is awesome. And let's just go over to this car as well. And there's another one actually there in the distance. Oh, this is amazing. So let's go right here. Let's see what we have to loot. Nothing. Okay, there we go. Let, uh, that's the second stage car. We got some oil from that. Very nice. I don't see an engine, but then again, I didn't see the engine actually in the battery the last time either. They just popped up. Holy balls. This is a very, very good set. We can put the better one in into our bike actually right now here. Let's do that. So if we actually go here, look at that. This battery is a bit wrecked. Um, I think, yeah, we repair them separately, but look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my, this is completely purpley now. This is so sweet. It's still held, the book is gone away. Okay, yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're gonna take care of you quickly because I don't want to be getting too sidetracked. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Them glitching down is just such a pain in the booty. Scrap that, scrap that. Don't care about plant fiber in the moment. We actually need the bones to make more repair kits. There we go. Let's throw this out. Keep that. Beautiful. Now I'll get over to this car and that's that. I'm gonna make this the second last car because I think there's another one over there and then we're gonna start looting. Excellent. Oh man, this is exciting. Yeah, we leave that meat in there. <laughs> Why would somebody have like meat like that? Okay, we have loot, we have, we have leather, we have scrap. Oh man, this is lovely, lovely, lovely. And third stage. Oh shit! Holy balls! Oh my god, you gave me a heart attack! Oh! Shit! Screw you, man! Oh, holy balls! At least we got a hammer out of it. We already know, knew it, but... Oh! Genie Mac, dude! You can't do that! My heart! I didn't hear him at all! Oh, there's meat! Yeah, you did. Whatever that clock clong was, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, we need the meat, we need the bones. Excellent. Sweet. So we can make two more motorbikes, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna use the other batteries for spotlights on the main base, but that's why I don't want to build another base. I want to have one main base, and that's pretty much it. Also, um, I'm gonna mention this here now. I don't know how many people are gonna see this now, but I'm gonna mention it here, and I'm gonna mention it also in the Valmod episode. And I will probably mention it in the next episode, just in case, and that is, I, uh, somebody was asking me, well, not just one person, were asking me about uh, focusing more on building. And the problem I always have is, 
Yeah, don't care for that. I know it's a good weapon, but I, I can't use it. I'm too stupid to use it. Um, one thing that ca comes always up is why I'm not building so much. And uh, I love building, and I want to make actually really big builds. But obviously, the problem is with a random gen map is you you kind of in a way you have to keep going you, you know you have to continuously um find more places to loot and all that i know you have loot respawn but in the end of the day uh, i don't know loot respawn uh, respawn loot respawn always seems a bit weird when you play on a random gen because random gen the whole point is that you keep going and uncovering more and discovering more and exploring more but i understand i want to have a main base for the big horde days anyway long story short what that leads to is that I'm considering starting a Let's Play series alongside the two I'm already running on just Naviskin map. And the reason I thought that might be a good idea is because Naviskin, uh, or Naviskin, whichever way you pronounce it, um, is a static map, which means you're gonna have to play slightly different. You can't play the same exact way that you play on Random Gen. Oh, there's another, there's another car here. You are going to have to plan better and so because you can't say oh yeah we move on you know because there's only a limited amount of times for you to move on so let's see if we get any more engine oh there's an engine i saw that um so the reason i was considering this there to be value is because you would have to build more because you would have to make a single really good base because you have limited resources and you have um on top of that, uh, the limited map. So I think it would be kind of a different way we would have to play this, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I don't like parking here. Let's park out front because I have problems with the grass on occasions. Oh, look at that. There was another car which I actually completely forgot. Let's just do that. Let's do these ones. And then we're going to go and loot at least... Um, loot at least the, sh the, sh uh, the shotgun messiah and the pop and pills in this episode and maybe we're gonna do in the next episode the base oh there's another engine very good no battery though as far as i could tell no well we have two batteries and we have four engines this is really going well i don't think engines are used actually for anything really is it except for cement mixers but i suppose you know we do want to make cement mixers possibly in multiple locations if for whatever reason that is the thing we want to do okay I didn't see anything. Did I miss it? Oh, another engine. Holy balls. It's an engine extravaganza. It's it's car engine porn. There's so much of it. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me know what you think about starting on Naviskin alongside, because I think it would be a different style of play. I think that that's basically what it boils down to, because you couldn't play the whole nomadish type of game. <laughs> Because we are not playing Nomad, Nomad here, we are having a base, but in the end of the day, we are playing a little bit more exploring. Meanwhile, in Navskain, if you find a village, you're gonna have to go, okay, I count, I count, I looted that 30 days ago, we're gonna have to go back to reloot, you're gonna have to, you can't be as squandering with your resources as I am. Like, brass would be at a premium. I wouldn't waste brass like I do here, because random Jenny can always find more. Anyway, long story short, that's what it was. Let's see if we can make our 25 forged iron. Let's make 30 so we have some backup. And let's put the engine parts away. Holy moly. So we have one battery. We can actually now make... Uh, let's repair this engine. I think we're going to need to use the repair kits. So let's repair that. Excellent. And let's put that back. And now we can make actually another... Um motorbike i think that's cool so i'm gonna bring all these parts back to the main base um and that's gonna be a good thing now i want to make the workbench quickly because i want to start queuing up some things to craft well the good news is i actually already looted this pop and pill i forgot that i did that the first thing i did uh, when i got here was uh loot that pop and pill but uh, the even better news is i forgot to loot one of those i just went over them because somebody was saying to me that i forgot something i don't remember what they said but i did indeed forget one of the cases and had another beaker in it which is great i mean i already have a beaker and i don't need it i don't think i forgot anything else i just went over the cases and um no i didn't forget anything else i also went inside here and checked again around and there was nothing there i missed and these guys are already done as well excellent so let's get out and let's go into the shotgun missiles unless did i loot that as well and i just forgot holy balls i'm so awful with memory 
So let's go and check that out. Do we have anything? Oh, wow. I th yes, we did. We did. Looks like we did loot it. Yep, we did. How can I be so forgetful? That is just embarrassing. Ah, well, the good news is that we can start our farm then. This is like, we're full of good news. Anyway, so let's take all that with us, actually, then. And let's start the outline. So what I would like to do up here is... I, um, I have my light on here, so this light shines down on the ground, which is okay. And this one shines on the ground. So what I would like to do is, um, if I come out here with my ladder, I want to have a path free going here like that then I probably want that path to close in here not here very nice excellent and I don't want to obviously go all the way to where this is so we're gonna leave this Maybe one more so we can walk kind of past it, which is nice. So let me see what we have here. One, two, three, which is actually very good. So we can have two beside each other. And then we just have a middle walkway, which is going to be our wood. Excellent. I think that's a very good plan. And we can go all the way down here to this side. So this is going to be the basic design of the farm. Again, all the way down here to here. And what I might do, I might actually make it one shorter because I like to have a little bit more room to walk. No, actually, that's 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 okay. I think that's okay. Because I can just walk over the... Um, I can just walk over the, the, the things here. like So, yeah, over the, the farm directly. I can't even think right now. I'm, I have so many things... So many things going on in my head. So, if we place this here, three, there we go. And then we have this here, wonderful. So I'm just gonna, again, finish the outline. There we go. Nice. And then we put the corner pieces in later when we finished. Now, oh, we're missing one piece here. There we go. That is nice. Now, I just want to be careful not to fall down here. That's why I was kind of contemplating of maybe not going as close. To leave basically two room here. So if I do that, it's one, two. One. Yeah, so let's do that instead. I do feel a little bit better if I can walk around. I know it's taken away a little bit away from the space, but I do feel safer if I have to walk around because I know I'm the type of idiot who will actually fall down and break his legs. And we can do the same on the other side. So we have three room. So we put one here and then we have, ooh, okay. In this case, we might actually only do, no, I think we need to, we need to, yeah. Three, yeah, so in this case, I don't think we have a choice. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. And it's the outside, so it's okay. Like, um, I'm not too worried about that. One, two. So we're gonna finish it here and here. Nice. Very good. And this is actually a very good design, I think. Um, it's using, well... I think it's using maximum space in that sense. It's using basically we can't plant anything in between. It doesn't use actually maximum space. Sorry, I'm wrong. What I could do is um, we can only hold dirt one on either side. And then we can plant normal dirt actually in between and put things on like corn. Because corn doesn't actually need hold dirt. Ah, yeah. See? Very clever. So we put the dirt in here. I'm gonna hold that and I'm gonna put the other dirt in after I hold them or hold the sides so this is all stuff where we're gonna grow something that needs hold dirt in the moment we don't really have much so we don't have to do a lot so let's finish this oh whoops
There we go. Excellent. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to plant the little things that we have. And then we're going to have to keep an eye out on um, what we can farm. And whenever we go looting, we're going to keep all the seeds. I think I just missed one there, unless it just looked like it. Maybe this one here? No, it just looked like it. Very nice. Yeah, sometimes the, the texture doesn't look like it's hoed. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, brilliant. So let's put our potato there. Let's put our blueberries there. And for now, we can also put our corn there because we don't have that many. And then we have our cotton, of course, as well. So let's put our potato there. Um, corn. Blueberry. And cotton. Nice. I th Oh, they look like little palm trees. <laughs> Excellent stuff. And do corn actually, do cotton need hold? I don't know. Let's put some, some cotton here as well, because if it doesn't need hold, uh, dirt, uh, then, you know, we don't, we can plant them in the middle there as well. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed the episode with a little bit of looting, with a little bit of grinding. We found loads of batteries to make another motorbike. And um, we got to start our farm on the roof here, which is brilliant. Um, I'm going to build some walls probably around here out of glass, you know, just to make the whole thing look a bit nicer. But um, we can do that in another episode. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick the like button in the balls. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and kick the like button even harder. And, <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in another episode. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. hey -o. Shout a lot. Ooh, you're gonna die. Oh, you lost your legs. <laughs>